in this question we have to figure out which of the following options will replace the question mark according to me I uh, figured this question out by the help of the white circles that were present in the given options firstly let's see how this uh, object is being ro rotated clockwise and by that I could conclude that the correct answer will be among the first three parts that is A, B and C and it cannot be part D so according to the arrangement of the white circles I could conclude that part B is the correct answer for this question in this question we have to figure out which of these four poses is the weakest when it comes to expressiveness of each and every pose if we talk about part A, part C and part D these three parts are quite expressive because they have their hands open and are expressive but when it comes to part B, part B is the least expressive because both of its hands are closed in and therefore we can say part B is the weakest pose here which of these different parts correctly represents 180 degrees between the hour hand and the minute hand of the clock we have to figure this out talking about part A 48 minutes and 40 seconds afterwards 6 p.m. it would be 648 and 40 seconds clearly if we look at the clock it is not 180 degrees at 654 which is 54 minutes and 33 seconds after 6 o'clock that means 654 and 33 seconds again this is also not 180 degrees talking about 60 minutes this would be 7 o'clock exact this is also not 180 degrees and lastly 65 minutes and 27 seconds afterwards 6 p.m. it means 7 5 and 27 seconds in this case if we look at the uh, clock it is quite visible that the hour hand and the minute hand represent a 180 degree angle between them in this question we have to figure out which of these containers hold can hold the maximum amount of water applying simple physics in this question it is quite clear that part a will be brimming with water on both the opening the narrow opening as well as the wider opening part b if we fill up till the narrow opening only just less than half of the container will be filled similarly in part c the wider opening will be filled but the narrow opening will not be filled because it is quite clear that part C the container is a bit shorter in height than part A part D we have the same height as C but the narrow opening is way large again not the exact amount exactly the same amount of water filled in part C will be filled in part D so it is quite clear that part A will be holding maximum amount of water in this question we have to merge the first half and the second half of the question to figure out what the question mark exactly is to do in order to do so we'll be going color by color box by box and by doing that i could figure out that part a part b and part c neither of them actually fulfill the criteria is given here in order to replace the question mark and therefore when i did the same for part d I could see that part D is exactly the merger between the part uh, between the first half and the second half of the question and therefore it can be said that the question mark can be replaced by part D which of these options is the correct approach for landing a plane first in the first case the nose is down this is clearly not the correct option in the second one the tail is way down it will drag along with the right eyes in the third option it is equal in equal uh, balance in the fourth option part d we have the nose down but we don't have the front landing gear deployed which is clearly not the correct way to land a plane therefore part c which depicts the exact correct method to land a plane is the correct option In this question, figure 2, if we rearrange the uh, two to given, given triangles, we can actually make a square. Similarly, in part 3, the f uh, figure 3, 
if we rearrange this uh, triangles we can make a pentagon we have to figure out which of these four options correctly makes a hexagon according to the given pattern which has been provided here according to the consideration we have the correct answer as part C in order to solve this question we will have to take a reference line for example the extension here which is parallel to the x-axis I took it as a reference and according to that I did all the rotation rotations which is 90 degree clockwise about x-axis and further on and according to that the correct answer came out to be part A so we have following graph correctly represents the variation in the speed of the vehicle moving along the given path in the given question. The graph is a distance time graph. It is quite clear that it cannot go the way part A, part B and part D have represented it. Therefore, it is quite clear that part C is the correct answer to this question. In this question, we have to decipher what percentage of of the whole area of the bigger triangle is being covered by the smaller grayish triangles in order to calculate that I calculated how many number of triangles the smaller ones can fit in this big triangle currently they are five, there are 5 triangles here but other than the calculation there can be 9 full triangles that can fit in this bigger triangle therefore in order to calculate the area I just divided 9 by 5 coming out to be 55% so the answer to this question will be part C 55% thank you so much for watching the video do like and subscribe to the key art and design channel